All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Dark Side Technology, which is being made by forum user Bad Sector. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, just a singular part. Which does make it one of the smallest mods we've looked at in a while, but that one singular part is a glorious 2.5 meter spinning centrifuge section for your Kerbals to live in while they're on their deep space voyages. And how could you not love that? I absolutely am infatuated with spinning sections for ships because it's just something that's so ubiquitous in sci-fi and of course is a real world proposed near future technology. And so I always love seeing them added into the game and this has got to be one of the best that I have seen in quite some time, and I've got to thank you wonderful viewers for that, because I actually missed this one on the forums, but thanks to you beautiful, beautiful subscribers, you did inform me about this one, and thus we can jump into the VAB to actually have a gander at this beautiful part. So let's start off by grabbing a Mark 1-2 command pod as well. This is a 2.5 meter part and let's sort of uh, scroll up a bit there and head down to utility where we will find the 2.5 meter foldable centrifuge, which if we just plop right there is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but we'll talk more about that and why i think it's beautiful momentarily let's talk about the stats here uh, this will hold a total crew capacity of 12 it weighs a whole lot at 14 tons and thankfully with that weight comes a built-in reaction wheel which is very useful because otherwise your ships can be quite unwieldy with this thing and it does also have a built-in crew report which is always good and a very large battery at holding 4,000 electric charge and so that being done with the stats look at it it's gorgeous I love it so much and it gets even better when you retract it or deploy rather we hit that there and BAM we have a just absolutely wonderful spinning section that looks beautiful and is also functional as I said it does hold 12 crew members now we are gonna retract this thing momentarily because I do want to point out one of the cool features about this and why I really like it now a lot of the spinning sections that we have seen added to the game are just inflatable donuts, essentially, which I'm not, even though I like them, I think they are cool. They're not quite the most wonderful looking thing in the world. They don't look very solid. Whereas this, because of its mechanical nature, it does look quite solid. But because it is just a big solid foldable thing, unlike with the inflatable donuts, it's going to be kind of hard to get into space because, well, this flat surface here is just going to kill you with the aerodynamics of your ship. But that is why it is foldable. If you go into aerodynamics, this thing, when it is retracted, does fit inside of a 3.75 meter protective shell fairing. So if we actually pop this thing on, we can build it around our lovely spinning centrifuge section. And if I can get this to work, there we go. Excellent. I haven't built a fairing in a while, so <laughs> bear with me on that one, folks. Thank you. And yes, it now fits right inside there so we can launch this ship with a very large, <laughs> basically onion attached to it. But it will really help with the aerodynamics of things. You won't really have to worry about that flat edge just killing your aerodynamics. So that is a very cool feature. I do like how it is compatible with the fairings. But let's pop that off because it is unnecessary now. And look at the beauty of this thing. Now, I should mention that this is still in alpha at the moment. So it is in its early phases. So I'm still going to knock it for the kind of odd texturing in the center column, but hopefully with it being alpha, that will be fixed in the future. Now, the rest of it, I think, is quite textured quite nicely. Very good, very stock alike. But what's more important to me is the modeling. Oh, just look at all the detail on this thing. You've got just wonderful depth to every part. You've got a lot of detail in like the hand railings here, the fairings that are coming off of the central column. This uh, bar that the, uh, or not fairings, the struts rather, the struts with it's attached to, this sort of central ring will go up and down with the retracting motion. So if we deploy it, you can see the central ring goes down, the struts go outward with 
it, and we have this wonderful railing that it all sort of is guided along by, which again adds to the much more mechanical nature than just the, as I said before, the inflatable donuts we typically seem to have in the game for these spinning sections, which is why I like it. It, it just it adds more heft and more sort of a sense of, uh, oh, what's a good word? Just a good sense that the ship is solid and not just going to get punctured by a needle poking it in the side. And it's just great. And, of course, spins. Now, if we try to spin it in the uh, VAB here, it's going to go haywire like that. But in the world outside, it spins quite nicely. <laughs> I do kind of like that, though, when it's going around like that. But let's chuck it off. And actually, uh, hmm, I was going to grab it again to show off other things, but I actually think that's all I can show off. Well, besides the hatch, of course, we do have a hatch here so that the crew can get out of this section to then go on EVAs, which is, of course, useful. Uh, and I should note, again, because it's alpha, the IVA is a placeholder. Uh, at the moment, I believe, oh god, which one of them is it? Yes, it's this. It's currently using the Mark III passenger module IVA, uh, but hopefully we will get a custom IVA down the line, because it would be cool to actually see our Kerbals in this proper sort of uh, centrifuge rotating section, because, well, it would be nice to actually get more of a sense that, hey, it's helping us with some artificial gravity for the trip. But let's actually go out of here and go to the tracking station, where I've built a ship in orbit to show you kind of what you might be able to do with these and how just wonderfully awesome these things look in space and on a full-sized ship. So I've gotten this thing into orbit, which is just a massive, massive vessel. Let's get you to go to prograde point and turn on all of our lights. And yes, yeah, just a, a nice little ship. You can see that the central core of the spinning sections does add quite a lot of length to your vessel. Uh, it goes from this crew hatch right here all the way down to the end where we have this adapter. So it is quite a long piece. So it is definitely going to add some length to your vessels. And well, we just need to deploy these. So let's do that on both of them there. Excellent. You can see them slowly deploying now rather than the much more quick deploying that they did inside the uh, VAB, which just gives you a good look at how those struts are coming down with that central ring and how it's moving along that central sort of guiding rail. All very cool. And of course, if we spin it from here, it's not going to insanely spin like it was in the VAB. We can get it to do a much nicer spin. So let's time it. There we go. And... Ah, beautiful. Actually, this one, let's reverse because we have that ability. There we are. Lovely. So we've got this beautiful section spinning, or two sections rather, spinning on our vessel here, which are just... It's just wonderful. <laughs> I mean, how could you not love something like this for your ships? And it's, it's just a very cool feature. Adds a whole lot of aesthetics to any vessel that you might be trying to build for your mission. And of course, it gives you a bit more of an interesting idea and a bit more, uh, shall we say, scientific validity to your deep space missions because your Kerbals would need some sort of artificial gravity for those deep space missions. So you'd want something like this. And yeah, the only downside to it really that I have at the moment is that IVA, the internal view, because it's I would really like to see a custom one, but hopefully it does come in the future. But as you can see right now, if we go to uh, Gilman Kerman here, it is just that Mark III sort of section. Though you can see it spinning from out the window over there, which is <laughs> interesting and is very amusing. Hmm. I actually just thought about this. Does that mean that this current section that we're sitting in, is that in the central core? I believe it is because <laughs> it is spinning on both sides. I just noticed that. Cool, though. I like it. Oh, no, did not mean to go to them. But yes, that is really all I have to show you for this. Dark Side Technology, again, a very cool mod, adding in a cool new part that can just... 
It'll allow you to do so much with the game. It's just such a cool thing to build cool ships with, and of course, large ships. And so if you would like to check it out for yourself, you can follow the link in the description as always. And if you do build something awesome, I would love to see it. So tweet me a pic or Google+, Facebook, whatever. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video today and that you do come back for the next when we will be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one!